Hello you all. Yeah, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending on what time we shall be watching this. Um, so right now I'm in the farm, but before we go on, come on, if it's your first time right here, uh, smash on that subscribe button, yeah, and uh, I'll be grateful so much. So first of all, let me see where to start. So I'm in up country, which is in Mbere. Most people have no idea where Mbere is. Mbere is in Embu County. Mbere is a small society of around 200,000 people, yeah. And uh, we are located on the leeward side of Mount Kenya. So that means our place is sort of dry, semi-arid, yeah. And uh, there's so much that comes out from Mbere. Like Mbere is one community that gives Embu County as a general so much revenue, yeah won't get so much into that but the reason is we have a lot when it comes to producing we produce mira on a daily basis like millions of money yeah is transacted in mbere alone we can, let's not even go to how many millions but on a daily basis yeah we produce some of the best sand ever so some of the sand used in nairobi as far as mombasa kitengela all that comes from bere nanyuki you know we're the home to the seven folks dam if you don't know them i'll put them up just to mention a few there's kitaro dam there's masinga there's kamburu you know all those we also produce lots of mangoes if you come to mary probably everyone in their home have at least five mango trees and different varieties so these are different mango tree variety than these this is different than that down there uh, the, all these are different from that that is different from that we produce a lot of mangoes as much as cambas can produce when it comes to mango seasons most of you think mangoes are from cumberland no 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 yeah so at least now you are aware i came here to show you about Mira and teach you a few things about it so without further ado let's do this so yeah this is now Mira right there and for this particular variety it's called the Moguka yeah let me just get behind now that's a Moguka plant yeah they get bigger for these ones they had to be trimmed because my mom wanted to you know let them start afresh she wanted to nurture them her own way. When it comes to harvesting, this is what you pluck off. And uh, the good thing about Mira, if you pluck this off today, come four days later, something will be sprouting. So that means in a week you can harvest twice, depending on how long you love them. There are people who love them this short. There are people who prefer them to grow this maybe this long, you know. It all depends on how you like it. At the moment, they've been sprayed some pesticides because... They do deserve a lot of care. Look at that. Look at that. Oof. Oof. I'm sure if some of you are here. Oh. Ho, ho, ho. This would not be lucky. This would not be lucky. Look at this. Look at all that. Oh my God. These are the days I enjoy just to go to the farm. Harvest cut for sale. Because oh, this would be enjoyable. Because once you, you become an expert in harvesting cut. You won't be chopping one by one. Yeah. And because remember, you're meant to arrange them in the in a basin. So you just hold all these. Pew, you just break it off. Yeah. Go to the next one. Pew, break it off. So oh my goodness. I, oh my god, I'm gonna miss this. I'm gonna miss harvesting cut for sure. Just like any other cash crop, Mira deserves a lot of care, like a lot of it. There's a lot of spring that takes along, you know, because of pests. At times, you spray them for them to make the leaves look a bit vibrant. There's so much that needs to be done. It's just like any other cash crop. Just don't think, you, you know, you plant it and expect it for it to grow well without care. No, there's a lot of care that takes, that takes place, that for sure. And uh, I don't know if you can see for certain ones, there are branches which have been cut off. Yeah. And the reason for that is... Uh, there are some branches that are just on the plant. They'll never sprout anything. So for that matter, they end up consuming water. And you try to make sure that you preserve as much water as you can. So for these particular branches, you get rid of them. Because not necessary. Yeah. When it comes to mira harvesting, you have to arrange it well in a basin. Yeah. In two layers. So there's a bottom layer and the top layer. But now the part that sucks a lot when it comes to selling is 
our rainy seasons may rise very cheap well um let's say depending on the quality or maybe the when I, I remember I said there are people who like it short and others who like it long. So when you take it to the market, there are buyers who value the longer ones than the short ones. The others who value the shorter ones and the longer ones. So the prices are going to vary. However, over the rainy seasons, Mira can cost as cheap as 50 shillings. Others even end up throwing it or even giving it away for free because buyers don't want to buy them. Yeah. But now the good part, however, the good part is when it comes to dry seasons, there are people who harvest between 60 to 100 basins and they take it to the market and it's bought between, you know, like 2000 or something between 1500 to 2000. And these people make between 120 to 200,000 in a single day and in a week. These people make close to a million, 840, 12 times 7, yeah, because for them, they have hectares of land full of mirrors. So someone can even harvest a hundred basins probably five days in a week. Oh my goodness. That's like freaking money more than someone seated in an office somewhere. I mean, I'd be envious of that. Yeah. So guys, uh, and uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Smash on that subscribe button and I'll be so grateful. Look at that. Ooh. Yes.